Also this morning, one of the Israeli negotiators working to free more than 200 hostages from Hamas told the BBC that they're working towards a ceasefire, one that would allow, quote, the women, the children, the aged, the wounded, and the sick, end quote there, to be released as soon as possible. This latest bit of hope coming as Israel continues to prepare for a full ground offensive in Gaza, despite warnings from other hostile Middle East nations. Our Robert Sherman is live in Tel Aviv this morning with the very latest there. Robert. Good morning to you, Mark. It's been a busy day here in Tel Aviv with a number of rocket attacks coming our way. A misconception that I hear from a lot of people living in the States is this belief that because of the Iron Dome, the rockets coming from Hamas are harmless. That is not the case, as what happened here today is the consummate example of that. One rocket getting past the Iron Dome, striking an apartment building here in Tel Aviv, injuring three. We're, looking, we're working to learn more about all of that, as it is a developing situation here in the Tel Aviv area. Meanwhile, the IDF continuing its tactical operations. They put tanks and boots on the ground in the Gaza Strip overnight. The goal to try and knock out some Hamas infrastructure as they prepare for the ground invasion, which Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says is coming, rest assured. They just don't know when or what that timetable will ultimately look like. And then in Gaza, you have hospital workers there saying they're on the verge of running out of fuel. They don't have enough water to continue operating. They need more humanitarian aid to get in. Eight trucks are slated to get into the Gaza Strip later today. And something else to share with you today is, is that an update in the total number of hostages being held in Gaza, that number has since risen to 229. The IDF speaking about that this morning. Listen to this. Some of this information is related to our additional identifications and emerging intelligence. Some of this also happens as a result of the operational activity that we carry out, and some of this is related to the location of foreign citizens who are not in Israel. All this brings us to the number I've mentioned of 229 hostages. And it's now been determined that the majority of hostages being held in Gaza are foreign nationals. Over 25 different countries being recognized. And if you take a walk through Jerusalem, you might find this. Beams of light that are heading upwards towards the sky. You can see them clearly at night. Each one of those beams, over 220 of them, representing one of the hostages not home. They each come with a photo and a name. It's people here in this community praying that their loved ones are returned soon. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.